The issue of cell tower placement arose after a local telecoms provider erected one 14 feet above ground within a community of approximately 50 homes in the St. John's Rural North constituency. Minister Charles Fernandez is the area representative and it is he who brought the matter before the cabinet three weeks ago. As a consequence, the director of the Development Control Authority, the chief town and country planner and the deputy town and country planner were invited to cabinet to address the issue of cell towers. The DCA was asked about and ultimately confirmed that it has authority to order companies that operate these towers to remove them. The cabinet then ordered the removal of the cell towers, a request to which the firm acceded. The DCA is, um, has um, written a letter revoking the permission that we gave them. We actually um trying to get the letter to them now. So they, have, they haven't gotten it in their hands as yet. I had Mr. Max Hernandez already announced that they have received the written, the written order, but in, in actual fact, they haven't gotten the letter as yet. The letter is on its way. He adds too that there is a time frame. The letter is asking them to remove it, remove it immediately. In addition to the letter revoking their, their permission, we also serve them serving them an uh, enforcement notice and if they do not remove it the enforcement notice would give us the legal authority to forcibly remove the tower. Southwell informs that the Ministry of Telecommunications has indicated a willingness to use its technical staff to visit the area after the removal of the towers to verify that transmission from the cell sites has ceased. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.